Hi, I'm Greg from Motorsports Innovations and today we're going to set up a race pack sportsman to trigger the start of logging with engine RPM. So on my little test bench here I've got my laptop, a race pack sportsman, uh, an RPM generator and a autometer attack to, to do all this testing work. So we'll get started and if the lighting's right and we can see the screen make an adjustment there there we go that's a little better we'll navigate up to the race pack data link program go to file and we'll open car configuration in the car configuration normally a guy would pick sportsman but I have X2 which is a test configuration I use for setting up loggers and doing uh, these educational things so we'll click on OK after selecting that so this is the configuration of this particular race pack sportsman We'll move the mouse cursor over to sportsman and we will right click on it which will bring up this configuration screen it has a lot of setup parameters in it we'll move down to this left hand segment and this line that says record enable channel we're going to highlight that over here where it's selecting which item will enable recording we'll, we'll take the drop down arrow and we'll get engine RPM X200 isn't 200 RPM that's an ID internally so we take that we move to this next line in the configuration file that says start recording when channel exceeds value and we'll select that now in the box on the right we're going to put in 4000 rpm how about if I backspace and really make it 4000 rpm okay 4000 rpm I'm going to click on send configuration which will send it to the race pack sportsman this information and that process you just saw the screen flash was that we'll click on OK to say that went fine we'll click on OK here because we're done making configuration changes we're finished with the laptop now it is the device is set we also should as a good policy we should click on this floppy disk icon to save the changes into the laptop setup so we'll click on that and we can exit data link the next part of our test will actually show it working with my RPM generator and the autometer tack so what we'll talk about is the status light on the race pack sportsman status light is in this particular case solid red meaning it has power and nothing else is going on so if I go up to my RPM generator you'll see it's kind of a homemade device but when I turn the knob the autometer tack goes up so if I want to set it my lines are out of calibration 3000 RPM that's what it's saying if I move this up to 5000 RPM and then go back down to our race pack sportsman we will see that light is blinking it's blinking red and every three blinks I think it is it's blinking green which means it is recording now the recording will go for 200 seconds that was the default in the configuration file I should have pointed that out when we were in there or until power is removed so for the guys who click it in the lights or uh, shut it off or drive it all the way down the return road you have all your information either way so I'm going to go up to my 12 volt battery and simply pull out my power wire and that is my run so it's easy to program and configure it either way and to change it back if you don't like it the only downside that I'm aware of is if you make your burnout start the logging and there's some kind of a long delay and you keep your engine running and somehow the 200 seconds 
expires before you actually make the run. We have two options. Most times, I mean 200 seconds is three minutes, over three minutes. If you're going to sit there that long, you're probably going to turn your engine off, your power goes off the sportsman, and the cycle starts again. So, Greg from Motorsports Innovations, if you have any questions, give me a call, 609-265-2110. Thanks.